Hi, and welcome back to Huck Eat Up. Today I've been craving a juicy steak, but I'm not quite in the mood to pay $100 for it. So in this recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect steak from home so that you can bring the steakhouse to you. So here's what you're gonna need for your steak dinner. A good steak starts with a good piece of meat. So I got this steak, it's a New York strip, one and a half inch thick, dry aged from Fairway. If you haven't had a dry aged steak, the really good thing about that is that it condenses the flavor and it imparts like this nuttiness. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you go out to either Fairway or Whole Foods or to your butcher and get one. You're also gonna need two sprigs of thyme, four cloves of garlic, about 10 sticks of asparagus. Line them all up, cut off the rough edges, that way it presents nicely when you plate it. You're also gonna have about a cup and a half of raw cauliflower, sliced to a quarter inch thickness, one tablespoon of butter, which we're gonna to use to finish off the steak. So the first thing I'm gonna get started on is the cauliflower. I'm gonna slice up two cloves of garlic, add that to a bowl. Then in the bowl, I'm gonna add the cauliflower, a liberal amount of extra virgin olive oil, a liberal amount of salt, pepper. Give that a nice toss, just like you get everything coated. Spread around the salt, pepper, garlic, oil. And then right onto a cookie sheet or roasting tray. You're gonna spread out that cauliflower. You're gonna spread out the cauliflower so nothing's overlapping, so that's gonna help it roast nicely without getting soggy. You want this to be crispy. Pop it into a 400 degree oven. You're gonna let the cauliflower roast for about 20 minutes until it's golden brown and starts to crisp up. So now that the cauliflower has been roasting for about 15 minutes, it's the perfect time to get started on the steak and asparagus. So here I'm using a cast iron skillet. I'm gonna let it get nice and hot. Then I'm gonna season these steaks with salt and pepper, heavily on each side. I'm gonna press that in. The salt and pepper is what's gonna help give the steak a nice crust. Into the skillet, we're adding some extra virgin olive oil. And we're gonna wait for that to start smoking up. We're gonna get smoke in here. Then goes the steak. We're gonna sear the steak for three to four minutes on each side. And we're not gonna touch it. Before you even make your steak, you should have it out of the fridge for at least an hour. That way it allows it to get up to room temperature. Some people say 20 minutes, but I find that 20 minutes is enough. By bringing your steak up to room temperature, it helps it cook a little bit better so the inside isn't super cold. I'm going for a medium on this steak. And check that, see how it's cooking. So as that's going, I'm gonna get started on the asparagus. High heat. Now let's take a look at that. See that? Nice golden brown deep crust. That's what we're going for. Now on this side, you see that fat line? We're gonna turn it on its side, right in the edge of the pot, and we're gonna render down that fat. You can even hold it here, land right this spot. Now this makes a lot of smoke, so your smoke alarms may go nuts. Now, three to four minutes on the final side. So now, we get started on the asparagus. Oil in the pan. I'm gonna set this off to the side, and that's gonna rest for about five minutes. Put the cauliflower out, we got that stove top. Got the oil going. 
we're gonna saute up the asparagus. A little salt, not too much. And just a little pepper. I try to finish off the steak. Now with the last minute to go on the steak, what we're gonna do, we're gonna crush the garlic, like so. We're gonna drop that into the oil, right? Then we're gonna take this butter cube, drop that into the oil as well. Then the thyme, okay? Now this is the final, this is the final setup. We have our asparagus going. Just roasting up. Olive oil, salt, pepper. That's almost done. Grab a large tablespoon. We're gonna start to coat that in the bullet garlic sauce. Okay. Bingo. We grab this and set it off to the side to rest. Turn the heat off. Asparagus. Ah, uh, yep. Got that nice sear on it. And we're ready to plate. So the first thing in is my asparagus. We're gonna line the asparagus up right down the center of the plate. Try not to move it around too much because you don't want to dirty the plate up. Like that. Then we're gonna to top that with the roasted cauliflower blend. Also, right down the center. Go a little more midline. And then we remove the herbs and garlic. And watch this. Hopefully you got this in view here. We're gonna slice this up. We're gonna cut on an angle with a nice sharp knife. This is all sliced. It'll take about this is enough. See that? And there you have it, a restaurant grade New York steak strip right in your own kitchen. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and please let me know what you think about this recipe. Leave your comments below, see you soon.